I really do feel this was like a one of those paintings that I kind of struggled with, like had a something really had something in mind that I was going for, wanted to, to achieve, felt confident in what I was how to do it, um, and then as I started doing it, just wasn't coming together, and so. Um, had to kind of problem solve and uh, figure out what what needed to happen to 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 get that. So eventually it comes together, but it was definitely kind of there was some struggle, as you can kind of see. Also, like uh, one thing that I hadn't really put in up to this point, you know, is because of like some of those peaks poking up, or like the the trees or and, and things are casting shadows, um, smaller shadows within everything, right? So that is uh, something that I kind of felt was missing is some of those long shadows that are kind of being cast into the light. Um, because of those scenes catching the light. So bring back some of those of the rocks and the shadows in the background, lighter shapes. That struggle isn't necessarily a bad thing, you know, like it's kind of part of learning and uh, growing as an artist. And and sometimes like, you know, that, that struggle sh might show through, maybe not, but it it's there because of like, you know, me, especially in the background where I've painted over and, and painted the shot, like the vegetation, the darker shapes, and then the rocks, and kind of done it, almost painted it a couple times, um, that because of, of doing that, like the, the, there's evidence of that, and that adds variety to it, you know? So I think it's it's not a bad thing, um, and it's it can actually help the piece um, get that variety in there by, by getting, uh, uh, by sh just showing the, naturally showing the history of maybe those mistakes and kind of showing a little bit of evidence of it, even though they might not appear, uh, of, as being mistakes or part of like the struggle. Um, it definitely helps to, to add to the complexity and of the painting and, and, make it feel a little more finished. And that also contributes and adds to that variety that I'm always searching for, trying to get is in, in everything. Those the variety of marks and saturation, color textures, uh, everything. Um, but now it's trying to just get those, those smaller shapes more accurate and, and interesting, right? Like I'm not necessarily trying to get capture exactly what's there but there are certain things like if you work on designing your marks and shapes everywhere you know if they, all those are interesting in other of themselves and as a whole it'll just become the whole piece will become even more interesting right it's good to get to make your pieces you know the initial like you know to catch the viewer right from the beginning right so when you have like a nice designed uh painting They'll see the that that initial block and that that initial shape and and the overall um, design of the painting. Hopefully, that'll catch their eye, and if they 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 like it, and they'll come in closer. And as they get closer to the piece, I especially like to have you know reward them for doing that. You know, showing that there's much more going on 
in that and so they can their eye can just kind of focus in and really look around and see all the the variety and, and things that's happening within in that composition and uh, make it feel satisfying to them to and rewarding again for for doing that and i think that's where that complexity and variety kind of really comes in um i like i like my pieces my work to have you know feel photographic to some degree you know even if there is I'm, if i'm pushing like mood and stuff like with this one but i want it to kind of feel like it's yeah definitely photographic uh, from a distance, but definitely I want them to be a painting where you can see the brush strokes and and have that painterly look and feel too to the work. And so uh, having that dynamic, um, having those dynamic brush strokes and really working on the calligraphy, those marks and stuff, I think is important to me to be able to get those in there and show that. Going back to the uh, band brush, that I initially did initial block in uh, with that, and I, I liked the texture that I was kind of creating and and the, the feeling that it was uh, making. But after all of my all my shenanigans trying to figure out this piece, it was all lost, almost all of it, if not all of it. So I wanted to bring back some of that those easy natural marks. Um, and again, this would just add to that variety of what's going on. And you can see that 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 front peak. You can actually see that there's a spot in the reference where you know, there's a cast shadow onto it where there's a, you can see a harder edge line. And I wanted just to continue on uh, that light downward as if that wasn't there. Um, so that was a conscious choice on my part to to not have that feel like there's a cast shadow there. Kind of remove that or uh, even compose it so that that wasn't a part of it, part of the piece or the idea. So this is bringing back those bright highlights again from the, the rocks, catching that light. Um, emphasizing that light a little bit.
think for the most part, I've only used like, like four or five brushes. You know, I've used like these, uh, a couple square brushes and I like to use those to get those hard edge edges for, for the rocks. And I've used a couple of those, a couple different, uh, Sumi brushes uh, to get the vegetation and, and do a lot of the initial blocking and stuff and then you know fan brush 